The Poetry of Nana Asmaul. By 1804 AD, the Sokoto Caliphate was established within the region of modern-day northern Nigeria in Western Africa by Sheikh Usman Danforio. One of the daughters of Sheikh Usman Danforio was Nana Asmaul. She was from the Fulani ethnic group and a well-known princess, poet and teacher. A prolific writer, the works of Nana Asmao include treaties on history, law, mysticism, medicine, theology, and politics, and was heavily influenced by the poetic tradition. Nana was also a multilinguist who could speak fluently in Hausa Arabic, Fula, and the Tamashek language of the Tuareg. At the age of three to four years, she started to learn the Fatiha, the opening surah of the Holy Quran, by heart from her teacher. By the time she was 10 years, she had read the Holy Quran in its entirety. Being influenced by Quranic literary style, Asmaru wrote her poems in specific rhyme and meter, rendering them more easily memorized through repeated recitation. The following poem was written by Nana Asmaru concerning her half-brother Muhammad Bello, who became the second caliph or ruler of the Sokoto Caliphate. It is called Bello's Character. I give thanks to the King of Heaven, the One God. I invoke blessings on the Prophet and set down my poem. The Lord made heaven and earth and created all things, sent prophets to enlighten mankind. Believe in them for your own sake. Learn from them and be saved. Believe in and act upon their sayings. Invoke blessings on the Prophet who brought the book, the Quran. He brought the Hadith to complete the enlightenment. Muslim scholars have explained knowledge and used it, following in the footsteps of the Prophet. It is my intention to set down Bello's characteristics and explain his ways. For I wish to assuage my loneliness Requite my love, find peace of mind through my religion. These are his characteristics. He was learned in all branches of knowledge and feared God in public and in private. He obeyed religious injunctions and distanced himself from forbidden things. This is what is known about him. He concentrated on understanding what is right to know about the oneness of God. He preached to the people and instructed them about God. He caused them to long for paradise. He set an example in his focus in eternal values. May God accept this poem. I have concluded it in the year 1254. Nana Asmao makes reference to the year 1254 in the poem. This is the date according to the Islamic calendar which is around 1838 AD. Over a period of 40 years, Nana Asmaru left behind more than 60 surviving literary works. Her poems of guidance became tools for teaching the founding principles of the Sokoto Caliphate. Even to the present day in northern Nigeria, Islamic women's organizations, schools, and meeting halls are commonly named after this great African woman and Islamic leader and thinker. Thank you.